up, walking in the wine guards to rebuy a couple pieces of equipment. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. That this is crazy that you guys would pitch in and literally help me get my equipment back. And to tell the truth, you know, I feel a little weird about it because it's not easy to receive. It's not easy to receive. You know what I mean? And I know that. A lot of people have gotten their equipment stolen. So I know that I'm not special, but I really want to thank you. Um, I realized I had an old combi system that was in the shop and I got it out. So I'm not going to buy a combi system today. I'm going to try to work with that one and I'm going to buy the pieces back just little by little. I have to get the chainsaw head extension and the trimmers for the combi system like right now because I don't have them and we're doing a job. Oh, 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 dog, 476, 89, just for the two extensions. Just gonna go out and load them up. Um, I got it, okay, there you go. Is this a newer version? This one? Do you have a bigger one? That's like the heavy duty, um, for the combi, this is the only one that they had. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, the other one I had was bigger and more rough, rugged, and heavy duty. I've been an older model. That's fine, but I'm, I just want to make sure it's not like a homeowner model. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I got to double check because we abuse them on that, and then you can articulate the head. All right, sweet. All right. Looks like they just redesigned it. Yeah, they did bit, redesign a lot of them. Yeah. It is a little bit lighter, I guess. So, mm -hmm. thanks, man. I appreciate no it. Go to work, make some money, down. Feel better. <laughs> it's a weird feeling getting all your stuff stolen, man. It's like you do feel violated. Like every time I open my truck or trailer now, I'm like looking, did somebody steal something? Look at this little, little trick. All receipts go up in here in this little visor. Come. this landscape job and I'm gonna walk up around with you and show you what we're doing this quote was just a random phone call from I think Google and it's right in my city walked the property with a customer about 2400 bucks and then uh, their lawn care company ended up doing some of the extra fall cleanup stuff brought it down to I think 2400 I'm sorry 1850 and so I'll show you what we're doing we're blowing out the gutters, trimming that mulberry tree, trimming this tree, pulling all this dead uh, grass around, two feet perimeter around, trimming the shrubs, pulling the weeds, which we've already done that, creating new garden bed edges and putting fresh mulch. And then in the backyard patio, I feel like going to the backyard, we're just putting a little bit of rocks around. So it's actually a good money maker. Two days, I think my cost would be 600 in two days, I'm gonna make. 1200 bucks. I uh, probably socking away a little bit extra for taxes, say a grand. It's not every day, you know, but I think that when you're more picky with the jobs that you take, which means you got to market more to get the phone to ring more so you can sift through, you can. Uh, most people, you could say that's good money if you aren't trying to have an IRA and the best health insurance and put kids through college, then you have to, you have to make two, three thousand, four thousand a week in order to. You know, it just all is completely relative to what you want, and it's all relativity. So, good money doesn't even make any sense to more to me anymore. It's only good compared to what you used to make, and it's really just limits your options. And people that are filthy, stinking rich, instead of a Ford, they drive a Mercedes, and instead of a normal couch for 600 bucks, they have a $6,000 couch. Instead of they travel first class, they eat at nicer restaurants. 
I don't know. It's not, it's, I think if you can find your life's purpose and fulfill that and serve other people, that's the most powerful thing. Anyways, I'm about to get to work, dog. Gotta blow out these gutters. Right now I'm listening to this beautiful book by Dr. Andrew Weil, W-E-I-L. The book is called Guide to Optimum Health. There's two different books. It's awesome. He's talking about herbs and natural remedies and homeopathic remedies and just this very enlightening, beautiful book that's very like logical and stable. So my trailer's just destroyed. I pulled all these PVCs off. I saw something really cool that someone else had done. So I'm gonna take two by fours and put them on an angle upwards, two of them, so I could just slap the tools in and hang them upright. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna have to do like a 45 degree angle so they're facing up. At 45, that seems right. Let's try this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. The one on each side of this two by three. Like this, see? Well, that really wouldn't work with the brake. I don't have to bring it down here a lot, too. Well, I can always trim it when I'm done. So here's the theory. If I put one on each side of this, like that, it'll work good. Look at this. What is that? Whoa. My chaps were not stolen. Guess what I just realized? Look at this. I just pulled these chaps off. The chaps were not stolen and that brand new Echo chainsaw was not stolen. It was hiding underneath the chaps. Oh God. <laughs> oh wow. I don't know. It's <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Turned me from the victim into the criminal. <laughs> Oh, Kelfis, I see how it is. Yeah, oh, no, 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 we, we barely out, and now you're pulling this, this crap. 
I see your tricks up your sleeve this whole time. This whole time. This whole time bamboozled. So look at this Echo PAS 225. I'm sorry, PAS 280. So I actually absolutely love this piece of equipment. It's a power head with the attachment. Uh, Echo had sent me this. They're not paying me anything, but they did send it to me. And I can, you know, review it as I please. And I love this piece of equipment because it's really strong and durable and it's lightweight and it starts with the first. Look at Kelfis trying to save face. Turns out his Echo chainsaw wasn't stolen. Then he's like, oh shit, I better get to work and start making those reviews real quick now. And I literally beat the crap out of it already. I think I've had it for a couple months now. And it doesn't doesn't die down at all. It's a very good piece of equipment. I like it a lot. So this thing is pretty dope. I like it. I'm gonna edge out some garden beds. Almost ripped up a sprinkler head. Two seconds into it, sprinkler head. Almost destroyed it. God, I'm gonna have to um, come out a little bit farther. Look at that. It's just a cat. I hope it's not broke. I think it's good. Damn it. I just spent a good uh, 45 minutes digging out these beds. It's looking nice and clean now. I'm gonna get ready to mulch it, but I got trim first. Wife Patron calls me at work. She goes, I can't, I can't log into the bank account. Will you fix it? Don't you love it when your wife calls you when you're at work and you get it fixed up? So I'm about to trim up this. Got all this dug out. Dude, we're just gonna back the truck right up on the lawn. Pop, 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 pop. Pitchfork the mulch into the bed, yay. <laughs> See, I'm getting it set up. I just need to saw that so they're even. Let's do the good old test. You know, my phone's always dying, man. Okay. My battery's always there dying on everything. I can't stand the PVC pipe shit's falling all over the place. You hit a bump. I'm gonna have to take that one off. Let's see, dog. Oh shit, dog. Oh shit, little stuff like this makes me happy. Oh shit, dog. Look at that shit, dog. I'm actually happy about this. Hey Al, look at this shit, man. Okay, looks good. I know this is kind of silly, but I'm actually gonna file this, just the edges a little bit in case you run into it, that it doesn't hurt you so bad. Man, it's hot as hell in here. Feels like. 90 degrees? Took a people saying the summer's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah right. It'd be a landscaper. Feel you know, over summer feels. It's a war zone in here. I know, man. It's also a hot box. It's fucking hot as hell in here. <laughs> Sweat my ass off. This is all shit that's gotta be done, so I'm just doing it. So look at this. I just screwed this in at an angle. It's a little, uh, it's a little washer and bracket around this with the PVC and a 45 or 35 degree angle and it works good. And I'm also gonna put two by fours across the, the door. Boom, 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 like four of them with like 80 screws so no one can break in. And then I'm also gonna keep all my power equipment in my garage. So if they do break in, all they can steal is hand tools from now on. But that looks cool. I'm gonna put a couple of those PVCs like that. All right. Yes. Oh. Organization, man. Much better. Okay, I gotta wrap up and get out of this job site. It's gonna turn into two and a half days now, but that's okay. Cause I got a lot done. 
I gotta go meet my wife to look at a house. A little cute house. Come here, Bogos. Home. Okay, so we're going to cuddle on some watch some TV. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.